So I was in Kilrelig um, last month, um, a beautiful place on the southwest coast of Ireland, on Bolas Head, um, in a writer's retreat, and I had been given some prompts by my lovely husband. Um, and uh, this poem comes out of that. He's from Chester, so I have a reference to his city. Um, and also he had given me a piece of uh, pottery which he had found walking on a beach in Skerries, which I think is Roman. And of course, Chester is a, is a Roman city. So that's the connection. It's called The King of Britain's Daughter. We have reversed that old tale. In ours, the Irish girl returns with the son of Britain makes a new home out of old bolt holes, keeps an eye when she remembers to, that his quiet ways don't shelter sadness, that he doesn't take to watching skies for starlings from home. We faced the rage of the Irish sea, walked the welcoming warmth of city walls built on sandstone, buried parents on either side of the pond. Returned each time, she convinced that her love of Wicklow Hills would tether both of them. We each walk this strand, beachcomb, pick up messages we encode for each other. Does it matter what bird says your name or which coast it flies from?